I feel like <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire right now. Hey guys, before we get started, I just want to remind you to be proud of yourself and everything that you've done right now at this very moment. I'm proud of you. Keep going. You got this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my daily makeup routine, how I do my hair. Literally, I rolled out of bed and then I came here. <laughs> I'm not joking. I film at my office and I just was like... <sighs> I looked at myself in the screen and I was like, oh my God, I literally rolled out of bed. So this is a very true, real, how I get ready every single day. This is my daily makeup, daily hair routine. And I'm also showing you guys an extra step in my routine that I do weekly, which is using an exfoliator. This one is by Glam Glow. And by the way, thanks to Glam Glow for sponsoring a portion of this video. I am gonna be showing you a complete routine. I might switch out lashes. I might change up my lip color. This is the process that I do for my entire face. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you want to see how I got this look then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam and without further ado let's get into this video this is a very true version of how I look like when I first wake up I'm so puffy right now really really puffy so good morning once a week I'll do a mask or an exfoliating mask so this week I'm gonna be using the glam glow bright mud dual action exfoliating treatment and this is what it looks like it's such a beautiful little tube it looks like a gem I love the packaging on this I think the reason why they made it to where it's like very reflective is because this exfoliator is supposed to brighten dull skin it has vitamin C in it it has niacinamide it also gives you a physical and chemical exfoliation so I'm gonna be putting that on today I do this once a week because you shouldn't exfoliate more than that. I'm gonna take the mask on my hands and just apply it on my face like this. I actually have a brush that I could put it on with, but sometimes I just like to go in there with my hands and apply it. So this helps with dull, uneven, textured skin, and those are all the checks for my kind of skin. So I really like using this type of exfoliator. And I'll let it sit for 20 minutes and I'll work on my hair and let that sit on my skin for a little bit. So when you first apply it, you're gonna use light circular motions around your face just for a few seconds. So the exfoliator can work on the dead skin cells that are at the surface. That way the product can penetrate into the skin to help with texture and to brighten your skin. Okay, so you're just gonna leave it on for 20 minutes. Once I let that sit, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. Oh my God, I have a lot on my nose. I feel like <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire right now. So if you could ignore this part of my nose while I do my hair, that would be great. <laughs> So when you leave it on for 20 minutes, that's when the second part of the exfoliation is really working and the lactic acid and the salicylic acid can really do its magic. And I got some exfoliator in my hair. I'm usually pretty good at this and I don't get it into my hair. So excuse that part. If you have uneven, dull, textured, rough skin, I just love how it brightens because I have these acne scars on my face from when I was like a teenager. Usually anything with vitamin C is going to brighten scarring. So that has really helped with my scarring, just vitamin C in general. And this has that vitamin C in it, along with all those other ingredients that really help to improve the skin. So I let that sit there and I can do my hair while I'm exfoliating my face. And usually when I get ready, I'm sitting on the floor in front of my mirror and that's just like my happy place. Makeup's all around me, all over the floor. It's the best feeling. And I just go through my hair. I actually curl my hair sometimes, but most of the time, if I'm like on a daily basis, I'll just straighten it because it's easier. It looks a little bit more healthy. So I'm just gonna go around and straighten everything. When I'm going to the next layer of my hair, I'll take the ponytail out and just like flip this over, try not to get it into my face, put this part in like a ponytail so that I don't go back over it. And then I'll do the next section. I usually do like three sections. So now I'm on the second part. I look wild, like a wild animal. By the time I'm done with my hair, that's when I take off my exfoliating mask. This is literally my lazy girl, my lazy girl routine. I just flip my head over and hope that I get all the strands. Now I can pretty much see like all of my hair that's not, you know, straight. Okay, now I'm gonna take out all my hair, part where I want it. I've been parting my hair in the middle lately, which is very trendy of me because I normally never part my hair in the middle, but I'm actually starting to like it. So now that my hair is done, I'll just put it back. So I'll just wash this part off 
and I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I washed the exfoliator off my face and I just grabbed some water because this has been my routine lately is to not drink coffee the first thing in the morning. I drink water, I like force myself to drink water, so I'm gonna do that right now because this is a realistic daily routine. I know it's better to drink it out of like the glass jar. It's very aesthetically pleasing and it's also just good for the environment, but this is what I have with me right now. So the first thing that I, oh, my skin feels so smooth. I love how my skin feels after this mask. It feels so good. And you can already tell it's very glowy and bright. I like it so much. So the next thing I do is put on a moisturizing primer. This one right here is my favorite. This one is the Blur Moisture Primer. And I just put that all over my face. And then my eyebrows are probably a little wet right now. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. While I'm letting that dry on my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. And you guys, I have been breaking out into this weird rash for the past month. Like it started on my arms and then it went to my chest and my face randomly. It'll show up, it'll like become itchy and red on my face, on my body. And then it went away for two weeks and then it came back on my legs. And I don't wanna show you guys because it's really, some people are, I know are really grossed out about it. I personally am grossed out about it, to be honest. It's been rough because it's so itchy, but it's on my stomach, on my chest, it's horrible. It's finally getting a little bit better, thankfully, but nobody knows where what it is or where it comes from. I have had the vaccine, the Moderna vaccine. I don't know if it's like a reaction to that. I don't know, because I've never had something like this before. And that's the only new thing that I've done. I don't know, I've checked my laundry detergent. I have checked all of those things and it's just, I don't know what it is. I'm a creature of habit. So it's like, I have no idea if any of you guys are going through this, let me know. Is it a 2021 type of thing? I don't know, but hopefully it goes away. So for my brows, I like to just go through them really quick in upward motions. It looks really funky at first because I have like a very small brow and I like to make them really large and in charge. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Rich Brown Hashtag Bomb Brows Pencil. And I'll just do little brow strokes in the direction that I want my hair to go in. And I say in the direction that I want my hair to go in because my hair doesn't necessarily go in the direction I want it to. So I'll pull it over and start to create a pattern of hair that suits my face shape a little bit better. I know you guys are probably like, what? That looks so crazy, but it's a process. Trust me, it looks good once it's done. So once I have that kind of first layer, then I'll go in with this brow pen and do a few more hairs. And then once I do that, then I'll go in with a bigger pencil and I'll start at the base and just start to create the shape that I want. And I usually like straight brows, so I'll make this bottom piece straight as possible and elongated. And then I'll go back up and do these little brow hairs and fill in at the same time. Now I'm gonna go in and shape them. So I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Concealer because it's a little bit thicker and a concealer brush and just go right under and shape the brow. This is something I used to do in 2016 and I did a video like 2016 versus 2021 makeup and I really like how I shaped the brow and I'm so I'm starting to mix both of the styles together and I'm gonna take this Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge from Uve, I think it's the name. I really like their their brushes lately and their beauty sponge. And I know this looks crazy, but I miss doing this little style. And then as I'm going, I'll prime my eyes with the concealer. And then after all of that work, we're going to take the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And this is the clear brow gel and I'll just brush the brows up. This is my hands down favorite brow gel. I've tried everything. This is the best for me in my eyes. It's clear. It doesn't get any weird residue anywhere. It doesn't have like a color to it. And it also just stays in place and doesn't move. And I'll just brush these front brow hairs up. Okay. Brows are finally done. <laughs> that, that takes me the longest. So after I do my brows, I'm going to put on the Fenty Ease Drop Skin Tint. So I just put a little bit on my hand like that. This is shade eight. And then I also have shade five and I just put that right there, kind of mix them together. For being a skin tint, this actually has pretty nice coverage. It evens out my skin tone really well and just makes my skin look really good. So I've really been liking the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. And then after that, I'll go in with my Makeup Forever Velvet Skin Concealer because it's my favorite still. And Makeup Forever just does it right when it comes to skin. So I am gonna put that on my inner corners here and just to 
right around these areas. To work in this, I'm gonna actually use this brush right here from Zoeva. This is actually a foundation brush, but I feel like it just does all the work at one time. So what I'm doing is tapping it in with a brush, like right into the inner corner, because that's where it's the, usually the darkest for me. And then under the circle, a little bit further down towards the nose. And then, even though we're putting it in these areas, we're still dragging the product down into the other parts of our eyes. So don't feel like, oh, I need concealer here and here. You can totally do that to give yourself more coverage, but I feel like it's a little bit more natural looking when you use less product. I did a video not too long ago about the only places to put concealer and you know, you can put it wherever you want, but I, I did this because you don't need to put concealer exactly where you want it because if you just use a little bit and drag it into the general area, it won't look super cakey and it will still do the job. Trust me, just try it out. And then go back over with my damp beauty sponge just to make sure that everything is blended into the skin. So now I'm going to set my face. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm gonna set the eye area right here just because we have a lot of creams going on in there. We don't want anything to crease. I never set my entire face because I feel like it makes me look way too matte. But I'll just set like the inner part of the face in anywhere I put concealer. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna contour a little bit later. I'm gonna get into my eyes first. So the palette that I use on a daily basis for my eyes is this one, the transition palette. And not just because it's mine, it's just because it has every shade in there that you need for like an everyday kind of makeup look. So I'll take caramel, coffee, and blushing and I'll kind of mix them all together and just work that into my crease. In 2016, we used to round out our eyeshadow, but I like to elongate it. I mean, a lot of us like to elongate it now and do that fox eye. So I'll just work it out towards the brow bone so it looks more lifted. And this is a Morphe M504 brush. And then I'll take a little smudger brush and I'll take blushing. I really like blushing and I'll use that on the lower part of my lash line. And that's pretty much all I'll do just for like an everyday. And I'll just make sure it's really blended. And I'll recurl my lashes before I put on mascara. The mascara that I've been using lately is from Benefit. It's the magnet one. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, this is a good one. You guys have to try this. It actually does not clump at all. I can get heavy handed and clump my lashes sometimes. So this one, no matter what I do, it really just doesn't clump. So that's really nice. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Birdie Lashes in Seductive. These are the latest launch from Birdie Lashes. They are so pretty. I'm going to take them and when I first put on lashes, I like to measure them first. I usually like them to begin right here where the rim of your eye, like the black part of your eye right here. So I like to line it up with that so it's not too in the center and then cut off about that much. So I'll typically just put lash glue on my skin first because it dries way faster and it's a little more clean. And this is the Velour eyelash glue. And I'll get the base of the real lash and the false lash and I'll kind of clamp it together. And then this outer edge I just bring way up above my natural lash line and so that's why it looks more lifted. All right, so lashes are on and that is pretty much all I do for my eyes really on a daily basis. The next thing I'll really focus on is just contouring and since I didn't set the outer part of my face, I'll go ahead and take this cream contour from Patrick Ta. This is a new one and I will just contour my cheekbones. And I love this color. He created a cream contour that's more of a natural shadow and that's how a contour really should perform and work is to create this like natural definition. And then the bronzer's on the bottom. So that has more of a warm tone to it. And then this has more of that gray ashier tone that looks more like a natural shadow. But because I did powder my nose already, I'm gonna go on to the top of the powder with this MAC Beijing Beauty Radiant Matte Bronzing Powder. And I'll start at my brow bone, go down to the bridge, and I'll do the same on both sides, obviously. <laughs> Imagine only doing one side, that'd look crazy. But I also do this little V shape in the front of my nose, and I'll take this and I'll just kind of contour into the eye. So it gives the eye more definition and more focus on the eye shape. 
Now I'm gonna go over with my beauty sponge and just work that on top of the contour. Then I'll put on some blush. I like a cream blush, I really love cream blush. And take this Fenty Petal Poppin cream blush and just put a little bit right on the cheekbone. I like to bring a cream back into the cheek because I feel like it makes it look like natural, healthy skin again and I'll bring it around the temple as well. Nude lip liner from Faces by Rob. It's called Play, and I absolutely love this lip liner. Like, the nude is so perfect. So I'll line with that, and then I'll just put on some gloss. This is the Peach Tea Gloss from Domini Cosmetic. And then just a little bit of skin gloss on the temple, like right by the temple and the forehead, and a little spritz. So that all your makeup melts into your skin and looks like it's natural. <laughs> you just woke up with lashes and full glam. But yeah, this is my everyday makeup. Once that's done, I'll take my hair out finally and probably just wear it down and be out the door and head to my meeting and I'm ready to go. So that is my daily makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is very basic, but I just wanted to show you guys what I do on a daily basis. This is what I've been doing lately and these are the products that I've been using and I hope you guys love it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to thumbs it up for me and check out these two guys if you haven't seen them already. And before you leave, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. My face is in a circle right below me. Make sure to press that button and you will see a new video from me every single week. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.